Adorno. Oh, come on, come. Come. Hey, ciao. Hey, Cody, how are you doing? What's wrong? <laughs> you. We're cu culturally oh, appropriating. Yeah. You're going to try and cause an uh -huh. international incident? Gelato, pizza, <laughs> ravioli. <laughs> Spaghetti. <laughs> So this is Lemoncello, and uh, you've had Lemoncello, you yeah, said you've made it. I've made it before. So. so this is real Lemoncello, not Andy's garage Lemoncello. That was pretty good garage. Um, my wife just got back from Italy and brought me a bottle. I think she brought it for me, I don't know. But she bought it for me, I do believe. No, I don't think so. Because once she heard that I made it, she had to, huh? No, she wanted to have, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so have you had Lemoncello, Cody? So limoncello is really good. It's made from lemons and cellos. <laughs> I have no idea. You take a cello and you bust it up and you soak. You pour the lemon juice and, and filter it through the cello. Oh yeah, that's that's yeah. how I made mine. And you have to have somebody really talented to play and it makes it better. It's like aging. The cello is the cask. Yeah, the cello is the cask. <laughs> it's gotta be a charred cello. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just, I don't know. I've had it in Italy, and my kids who live there turned me on to a limoncello frozen drink <coughs> that was really, really good. Um, I can't remember what it was called, but it was amazing. And I've just had little shots of limoncello. Uh, never brought any home, though. And to tell you the truth, I think the only limoncello I tried is the one I made, so. <laughs> <laughs> what he's saying is he made lemonade and froze it. <laughs> Vodka lemonade. Yeah. He took the little packet, <laughs> put some sugar in there. Hey, Kool-Aid! All right. So, uh, yeah, this was... I, I, I know the price, and the price was... Research department. Wow. That was 15 euros. 15 euros. So, dollars. yeah, about 20 bucks. Uh, and so... Not too bad of a price. You pay about a thousand dollars for the ticket to Italy, so, the hotel stay. So pretty common man. Yeah, pretty common man. <laughs> All right. I love limoncello. And it you. Oh, this would be great on pancakes and in coffee. <laughs> it's best to have cold. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't in the freezer that long, but it's loud a little bit. This is really good. It is. What was your number one fan saying about that? <coughs> <laughs> and I think surprise with the part. The I stuff that I made was really sweet and this is really sweet, so I think I made it right. Just because you added twice as much sugar to your Kool-Aid packet doesn't make it the same. But when I made it, I was like, I needed to put half the sugar in there, but I guess I made it right because this is what mine. This is like. really, really good. And I've actually never really looked in the liquor store for limoncello. I'm sure they sell it. Yeah. I'll have to go look. Because so. it's, from what I know from it, it's like you keep it in the freezer because it's supposed to be slushy. Mm hmm. And this, this is good. This would be good on ice cream and, and your coffee, coffee and pancakes. Yeah, I think put it on my toast, steak. Put it on a muffin. Muffin. <laughs> my Ooh, my lemon fruit, poppy seed muffin. My Fruit Loops. <laughs> it actually might be good with fruit <laughs> donuts. No, that sounds. <laughs> oh no. No, seriously, I would. This would probably be good with a little vanilla ice cream, um, or a gelato since we're talking Italian. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I don't know of any cooking things. It might be good in a little kind of fruit salad if you're into that type of thing. I'm not. As Cody said, the lemon poppy seed muffin, it might. Yeah, just a little bit. Well, when you're sick and you're having hot lemon water for a sore throat, you just put that on. 
Yeah, so it's like, <laughs> I feel something coming up. It's really good. No real alcohol af aftertaste, it's 32%. Some of them. No, no bitter. Some of them, the cello has uh, grappa. Yeah, some yeah. does have grappa. And if you've never had grappa, go out and try it. It's amazing. It'll just knock your socks off. Its yeah, literally. <laughs> grappa is something that we, my daughters bought when they came back from Italy and gave it to me and um, we didn't know how to drink it. They didn't know how to drink it. And so we were just trying it with, you know, shots. shots. And it is, it'll Not, take 10 years off your life. Yeah. It's, it's harsh. It and seems like I've had it, it in the- Andy goo the fucker face. Yeah. It, it seems, gives the bitter beer face. Yeah, it seems like I've had it in the Greek restaurant before, but I can't remember. Well, when I went back to Italy just recently, um, one of the restaurants was offering me grappa and I'm like, no way. I have a bottle and it's probably going to stay full the rest of its eternity. And they're like, you don't like grappa? And I'm like, no. And they're like, why? And I said, it's just too bitter, too strong. And they're like, well, you're supposed to put it in coffee. So, and on, I've been using it. I've been putting it, the, what I have into coffee. Or on pancakes. Yeah, or on pancakes. That's just going to become the Wednesday show thing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have an episode where there's going to be a stack, stack of pancakes. Of pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> we should have done the sort of lay on a Wednesday. Could have put it on pancakes. Yeah. Um, if you remember an uh, episode we did on the sort of lay uh, maple yeah, that syrup was... whiskey. That's probably the only way I could eat it is on pancakes or maybe in some sort of cake because that was extremely sweet. I thought we decided it could go in coffee. Yeah, yeah. In fact, that's probably what I'll use it for. I think we did try it in coffee. Yes. Similar. Did we? I yeah. did. It was better. Yeah, it was better. need to um, get a, um, what's that, that's like the thicker blade bacon. Um, pork, pork, pork bellies? bellies. Get a pork belly and saturate it in that. Oh, with lemon yeah, cello? And then cook the pork belly. Oh. And then it would be a maple whiskey flavored pork belly. Let's do it. Or a slab of bacon without getting it cut. Which I think is still pork belly. So think about that when you go back and watch the sort of like. Okay. This is pretty good. Pretty good. I don't think I'll be getting it anytime soon because I don't. And I, I probably will keep this stored in, in the freezer because it shouldn't freeze since it's 32%. Yeah. And so I'll about probably just store it in the freezer. Your fancy pants bottle rating on this. Oh, so here's the thing with limoncello. When you're in Italy, you can get limoncello in, um, is it Madero bottles, glass? They're, they're decorative glass, but they're not actually made in, in uh, the glass factory. Okay, so they're decorative, so they're really cool designs and like curvatures to it, different colored glass, and you can actually get the limoncello in different colors, and they're really cool. If you don't know, we, in Venice they have a, a, a glass it's, island where they make glass. They're kind of known for their mm -hmm. glass. Modena. And we went all through looking for, I don't think we ever bought any glass objects there, but did we? No, we, we did. We bought like a, a wine opener and some stuff like that. Yeah, but we were looking time. for the lemon cello and couldn't find it. And then when she went back this last time, because there's a specific bottle she's looking for, she still couldn't find it and ended up getting this one. But this is a good, this is called the Malfi. The Malfi. The Malfi lemon cello. It's a, it's a good pick. What do you think, Cody? Fancy pants. I give it about three. So I'm really curious. We have to work out this fancy pants. Um, thing because you take the labels away and just have the bottle that takes away the yeah part issue. of it is the and so a lot of it stuff. is what I like you know on the North Texas distilleries they have really cool labels and sometimes yeah. cool bottles but some of the bottles just then by themselves are really cool yeah and that's what we've rated on bottle cork top okay and label I and label the whole thing mm -hmm. you just like it because it's got a girl wink in that's it. what I like it hey babe how you doing <laughs> So you're going right. to drink about three more shots and then start talking to the bottle? And then we're going to be like, you're my favorite. 
So make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Check Why out do I give merchandise, him... and we'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Laters. Why do I give you so much fodder? I know. You literally are supplying us with ammunition. To shoot me with. <laughs> He's going to start clipping these things and just running on the loop. Oh. Fabulous. And with that. Thank <laughs> you.